Sawadikra. I spoke recently about nurturing a sense of true charitable giving in our students, giving of themselves, their time, talent and care for others, an element of self-sacrifice and altruism. The Latin for charity is caritas, which is of course where we get care from. Care is important to us, caring for our community, whether local, national or global, caring for others and caring for ourselves. Charity is love, genuine love for others, a love of people. I was listening to a podcast this weekend about Charles Dickens, known for his care for all people, whatever their social status. Dickens possessed a huge sense of social justice, and his novels are known for highlighting the economic differences inherent in Victorian England and the injustice of a society that categorised and pigeonholed humans through wealth, privilege and family status. Dickens was not known as a man of prayer and godliness, but he did care about charity, about not merely thinking about yourself, but thinking about other people, loving other people. Whether it is labelled and assigned to Christianity, Buddhism or humanism is irrelevant. But a sentiment focused on thinking and caring for others is so important for all of our students to learn. Dickens' prayer asks us to remember. To remember to do good always, even to those who do evil to us. To love our neighbours as ourself and to do to all people as we would have them do to us to be gentle, merciful and forgiving, and to keep those qualities quiet in our own hearts and never make a boast of, our, of them, or of our prayers, or of our love of God, but always to show that we love him or her by humbly trying to do right in everything. If we do this, we may confidently hope that our mistakes and foolishness will be forgiven and enable us to live and die in peace. Things that are easy to forget in our busy, self-centred lives. But let's all try and do a little bit of what Dickens asks of us. Let's remember and let's care. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Cop and crop.